Prosecutors in Minnesota have decided not to press charges against the officers involved in the fatal shooting of Amir Locke. But as WGN's Patrick Elwood reports, Locke's family is vowing to continue to fight for justice. So the news out of Minnesota today, no criminal charges, but according to the family's attorney, based right here in Chicago, the fight for justice is only just beginning. It was February 2nd. Amir Locke was sleeping on a couch when a Minneapolis SWAT team entered on a no-knock warrant as part of a murder investigation in the neighboring city of St. Paul. As he awoke to the sound of officers storming that apartment, the 22-year-old Locke grabs a gun nearby, startled, and moments later is shot. The fatal bullet coming from the gun of police officer Mark Hanneman. Locke wasn't named in the warrant, but police identified somebody else at that apartment as a suspect. In the early morning, no knock was issued after authorities believed, telling the judge that guns and drugs and the identified suspect would be inside. In today's no charge announcement, the Minnesota Attorney General and the local county attorney say they consider Locke a victim but there was not enough to bring charges. In a statement issued, quote, there is insufficient admissible evidence to file criminal charges in this case. Specifically, the state would be unable to disprove beyond a reasonable doubt any of the elements of Minnesota's use of deadly force statute that authorizes the use of force by Officer Hanneman, unquote. Locke, who planned to move to Dallas to be closer to his mother, Karen Wells, to pursue a career in music. She has called her son's death an execution. His death came at the same time when three former Minneapolis police officers were on trial in federal court in St. Paul in George Floyd's killing. This was a good boy. Chicago attorney Tony Romanucci, part of the legal team representing the locked family. We spoke by way of Zoom today. He says no criminal charges aside, a civil remedy is still being pursued. He says obviously the family is hurt and disappointed. I do not see any room for no-knock warrants. I really don't. There has to be the most extreme exigent circumstance in order for a no-knock warrant to be signed off on. So would there be an exception? You know, I might be able to carve out one exception, and that's in an extreme case where there is imminent danger or harm, which is articulable at that moment where a no-knock would save someone's life, preserve life, preserve the sanctity of life. And when it comes to no-knock warrants, there is still a push on in Minnesota and many other states, for that matter, to eliminate them altogether. Reporting for the newsroom tonight, Patrick Elwood, WGN News.